As we all know, part of role playing as a delegate in the United Nations is dressing up. All delegates attending the final conference must be in formal attire. Guys must wear a suit and a tie, and creative pins are encouraged. As for girls, you can either wear a suit or a dress, such as the following. Uh, make sure not to wear something too flashy or bright colors and avoid summer dresses. Sneakers are not allowed and high heels are not recommended. Thank you. Seeing as though we are mimicking a United Nations conference, might as well act the role too. In an MUN conference, Model United Nations, you are a diplomat. You act like a diplomat, you talk like a diplomat, and you sit like a diplomat. Once you enter the conference, you find your place quietly and sit down and wait for session to begin. Once session begins, you don't chit chat with your friends like, you know, in a history class or something. You sit quietly and respect others. Once formal session has ended, an informal session begins, you are free to speak as you wish. Now, formal session has begun. As you may or may not know, everything during conference sessions follow either a point or a motion. You, the delegates, run the conference and will vote on what type of session will be held. In order to do so, one must make a point or a motion, such as follows. Motion to set the speaker's list for a speaker's time of one minute. Point of parliamentary procedure, how do we make a motion? Motion to move into an open debate to discuss capital punishment for a speaker's time of 45 seconds and a total time of 8 minutes. Motion to move into an informal session of a total time of 15 minutes. Point of personal privilege, may I be excused? Point of order, Germany hasn't been added to the speaker's list. Motion to adjourn the session. The art of speech making is greatly exercised in every MUN conference. The delegate either enters the conference having mastered the art or leaves it having done so. There are many things to keep in mind when giving a speech. Posture, tone, body language, voice projection, and of course, content. Your posture must mimic that of a diplomat. Keep an upright stance, strike a power pose, and lead the room with your look. Keep a moderate tone, but make sure not to sound monotonous and bore the room to death. Your hand motions or gestures are what grab or lose the attention of the delegates, so use them to your advantage. Don't put your hands behind your back, don't play with your hair, and use the podium to your advantage always. As for your speech, keep it concise, straight to the point, and do not overuse metaphors.